Welcome to Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collections class, and we dive in through examples to explain what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at min. Min is fairly simple to understand. It is simply the smallest integer in a sequence of numbers. So let's dive into our first example. Data, we're going to equal this to an empty array, and let's have three test numbers, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Then we're going to return collect data and call min. So we expect that to be 10,000. And sure enough, it is. Let's go a little deeper. What if each of these were wrapped in an array and each of those had a key of price? All right, let me modify this. Well, now we would have to pass in the string price and we expect the same results. And we do. What if we wanted to concatenate two different entries inside each of these arrays? Let's say something like a tax. Let's default these to 500, and I'll change this to 700, and finally 900. In that case, you can pass in a closure function value, and in here, I'm going to return value price plus value tax. And sure enough, we get 10,500, which is the addition of this price plus the tax. Let's go into an even more advanced example. What if there was a column here that determined whether that particular column should count or not? We'll call it active. We'll default them to true. Now this very first one, I will turn to false so that we default to the second one. So now what we can do is if negate value active, then return null. Returning null here will eliminate that from the result set. So let's run our example one more time. And we get 20,700, which is the addition of 20,000 plus 700. If we change this one to false, and we ran this again, we would get 30,900, which is this one here. And that completes our overview of min. 